Hi friends, in the last video we come across it with what is oblong method in that what all are the different procedures are there and when we are going to use rectangular method when we can able to apply parallelogram method we learned so in this video we will go ahead with rectangle method in this rectangle method when we can able to apply for an ellipse so whenever major and minor axes are given we can able to apply rectangular method let us consider major axis is ab minor axis is given as cd so here i am not giving the dimensions because once if i give the dimensions most of the students what they will do is they will take those dimensions only in the examinations whatever it was given in the question paper they won't consider that is why I am taking it as a general case. So whenever we want to construct an ellipse by using rectangle method, we have to know major axis length and minor axis length should be known. So let us consider AB is the major axis and CD is the minor axis. So what we have to do first. So first of all, we have to draw two lines which are perpendicular to each other. Let us consider these are the two lines which are perpendicular to two lines which are perpendicular to each other. Assume the intersection point as O. Assume the intersection point as O. So take half of the length of AB as radius. Half of the length of AB as radius. O as center. Mark it on the left side. Assume it as A. Mark it on the right side, assume the point as B. So for example, if AB is given as 120, we have to take 60 on the left side, 60 on the right side, and we have to give the names as A, comma B. And let us consider minor axis length CD is given as some 80. Then take 40 on other one side, mark it, and we are going to assume it as C. Mark it on the other side on the vertical line, we can able to get D. So after getting A, B, C, D, how we have to get an ellipse by using rectangle method. So the first step is draw the lines which are draw a parallel line to the minor axis at major points. Draw a parallel line to the minor axis at major points. So minor axis is vertical here. So we have to draw a parallel line to the major axis here parallel line to the minor axis at major points major points are a and b so at b also we should draw a line which is parallel to cd this is one next draw a parallel line to the minor axis draw a parallel line to the sorry draw a parallel line to the major axis that is ab at minor points at minor points what are the minor axis points c comma d we should draw a parallel line to the major axis at minor points that is a comma c comma d at c comma d we have to draw parallel line to the major axis that is ab that is horizontal now if you observe here we got a rectangle and we are going to obtain an ellipse inside this particular rectangle that's why this method is termed as rectangular method now in this assume the top leftmost point as p they assume left topmost point on the rectangle as p now divide ap and ao what are the like things ao and ap into into equal number of parts equal number of parts so if you are going to divide AO into five parts you have to divide AP also into five parts you are already aware of it how we have to divide a line into equal number of parts by using acute angle line method so draw one acute angle line here then divide this acute angle line into five equal parts with the same length one two three 
4, 5. And we have to join fifth part with other end of the line P. And then we have to draw a parallel line to it at all the points. Now we have to assume these points as 1, 2, 3, 4. Similarly, we have to divide AO line also into 5 number of equal parts. Why it is 5? Because AP is divided into 5, therefore AO also we have to divide it into 5 equal parts. So here also you have to apply acute angle line procedure only. So, but I am not going to explain this one in detail, you are already aware of it. So, I am directly dividing this one into 5 equal parts. So, then here it is 1, 2, 3, 4 and it will be 5. So, I am assuming them as 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash. So, we are divided. AP and AO into same number of equal parts into same number of equal parts. Now next join C1, C2, C3 and C4. We have to join C1, C2, C3, C4. Now we have to join D1 dash extend up to C1, D1 dash extend up to C1, D2 dash extends up to C2 line, D3 dash extend up to C3 line, D4 dash extends up to C4 line. Now we got wherever they meet the extension lines there are the points on the curve so it is the first point p1 p2 p3 and this is p4 in the exam there is no need to write all these information just you can able to mark the points for your clarity i am writing all these here now so, for getting one fourth of the ellipse itself, we drawn so many lines here. So, instead of using this method, one fourth of it we are going to use oblong method. But remaining four, uh, three quarters, we will use the symmetrical procedure. Symmetrical procedure. What is that symmetrical procedure? Very simple. So, here the ellipse is symmetrical about minor axis as well as major axis. So, whenever we want this portion of the ellipse from here, we have to cross CD. Whenever we are crossing CD to get the ellipse portion here, we should draw parallel line to AB. If we are crossing CD, we should draw parallel line to AB. No sir, I want to transfer from here to here. So, while transferring from here to here, we are crossing axis AB. So, therefore, we have to draw parallel line to CD. So, if you are crossing AB, we have to draw parallel line to CD. If we are going to cross CD, we should draw parallel line to AB. That is the hint. Now, so I will try to get the points in the below. So, for that, what I have to do? We have to draw parallel line to CD. Why? Because here we are crossing a B. So, we have to draw a parallel line to C D here. This is one line. This is the second one. This is the point line related to the third point. This is the fourth. Now, wherever they intersect, I am going to assume some points for the clarity. So, this particular point, we are assuming it as O1. This is O2. This particular point is O3 and this particular point is O4. Now, we will move from one after other. Take O1, P1 as radius. What is the radius? O1, P1 as radius. O1 as center. 
O1, P1 as radius, O1 as center. We should draw the arc in the below and we are going to get the point here. We are going to get the point here. Similarly, now O2, P2 as radius, O2 as center. O2, P2 as radius, O2 as center. We have to cut the arc in the below. Then we are going to get the point somewhere here. So we are going to get the point here. Similarly, O3, P3 as radius, O3 as center. We have to draw the arc in the below. We will get the point here. Similarly, O4, P4 as radius. O4, P4 as radius. O4 as center. We have to cut the arc in the below. We are going to get the point here. So now we got one uh, half of the ellipse. Now in order to get the ellipse on the right side, what we are going to do, we have to cross CD axis, minor axis or CD line. Therefore, we should draw parallel line to AB. So here, this is the parallel line to AB here. At P3, this is the parallel line. And here also the same fashion at for P1. Now here also we are going to draw the lines for the bottom. Now, what, as usual, whatever we discussed in the previous one, that is, I am assuming this is uh, already we assumed O4 now. So, again, no problem, O4 dash, or otherwise, instead of O, I will assume it as some um, K4, K3, K2, sorry, this is K3, this is K2, this is K1. Same procedure. K4, P4 as radius, K4, P4 as radius, K4 as center, we have to draw the arc on the other side. We have to draw the arc on the other side, so we will get the point here. Next, on this, we have to take K3, P3 as radius, K3 as center, we have to draw the arc on the other side. We will get the point here. Similarly, K2, P2 as radius, K2 as center, we have to draw the arc. We will get the point here. Now, K1, P1 as radius, K, K1 as center, we have to draw the arc. Similarly, we are going to get the points somewhere here. So after getting all these points, if you join all these points as a smooth curve, we can able to get the required ellipse. With this, we can able to get the required ellipse. So we have to join all these points. So by joining all these as a smooth curve, we can able to get the required ellipse. So this is the way how we have to get an ellipse by using oblong method that to rectangle method. So whenever major and minor axes are given, we can able to construct the ellipse by using 
a block method among that it is going to be considered as rectangular method good for watching this particular uh, video my dear friends try to share this particular information in your groups your friends will also be benefited with this particular information and they will also learn this particular element